Uh oh, Steve's in the car again. I know, I know. It's New Year's Eve 2021. So today we are going to be talking about happiness. And why might you ask, am I talking about happiness of all people? Because I'm a ray of fucking sunshine, aren't I? It occurred to me today whilst um, watching one of my favourite gurus on YouTube. He said something that's so simple. Because happiness seems such a complex subject nowadays. We've really fucked things up in the past. Goodness knows how long. Excuse the noises that are banging, by the way, it's probably fireworks because it's New Year's Eve. We've really fucked happiness up. I mean, we're probably the only creature on the planet that is so complicated in finding happiness, you know. Other animals and beings are happy just being, just living, breeding, eating and sleeping. That's it. That's all they need. We've overcomplicated things so fucking much. Now we need to have the latest iPhones, the, you know, the most powerful cars or some kind of career or whatever whatever thing we look for in happiness the majority of us are not happy deep down because we're always striving to find happiness through something external it's always through something external and it's always reaching a goal yeah so the majority of us are always searching for happiness in the wrong places and joy contentment whatever you want to call it most of us have got an idea in the head, you know, I might think, oh yeah, I'm going to be happy once I get 10, 20,000 subscribers and I can, I, can, I can make a living just off YouTube, I'm going to be happy when I can do this. Everyone's got something where they're going to reach this point and then they'll say, I'll be happy when this happens. And the thing is, you never are because you reach that point and then happiness is very short lived and you start from scratch all over again. Yes, yeah, so we're living in this constant state of obtaining a certain goal or reaching a certain point of something and then we're forever just going around in circles. I heard someone say on YouTube today, which kind of blew my mind, is there's literally one reason and just one reason that we're not happy. Things are not happening the way we want them to happen. That's it. Things are not happening the way we want them to happen Anything, anything you're not happy about is just something happening the way you don't want it to happen. So that just simplifies things so much. It's making that choice, isn't it, between everything external to you that doesn't happen with inside your own head and your own actions, you cannot control. And it's, it's all about acceptance. It's all about accepting. It's all about accepting the things that are out of your control. I've, I've, I've been guilty of it myself. I've been in relationships in the past where... I've got incredibly frustrated because things weren't happening the way I wanted them to happen or the person wasn't behaving them how I expect them to. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's madness. You have literally no control over anything external to over what happens between your own ears. Dogs are fucking amazing. Dogs have got literally unconditional love. You know, even, even the arseholes in the world that mistreat animals, a dog will still try and love that person, honestly. Dogs are way better than people. I just can't have to pull up with his fucking lights facing me. There you go. Perfect example of uh, choices, you know. I drive around for 15 minutes looking for just somewhere relatively quiet to pull up and do a little vlog in peace. And I get mad. I, I, I react by compulsion, which is, uh, which is what this is all about. It is. It is about we are probably the only animal on the planet that has the capability of having a choice how we react and how we feel. Like we literally can, we can choose to feel about any kind of circumstance or anything that's happening. We may not be able to control it if it's external. We have the capability where other animals on the planet and creatures don't of making two choices of how, how, how to react, you know. Uh, I could sit here getting mad that that car just pulled up over there and shine its lights on me and like because I want a little bit of peace and quiet to do a vlog but you know, I've realised I thought about it it's stupid I can't control who sits and parks their car on where it don't matter does it you know fuck them if they're sitting there smoking a joint in the car sitting there bored watching me do a vlog whatever it is it don't matter it's all good yeah I find that a really interesting concept and it simplifies so much I can f literally just think of any situation in your life current or in your life prior where you was unhappy that wasn't just something in your life not happening the way that you wanted it to happen 
Now don't get me wrong, you've got no you've got no control over really shit things happening and shit things happen all the time. People might break into your house, people get ill. But the same thing goes to stand that you can have someone literally laying on death's door and they're at complete peace and happiness and joyful and, 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 and not having any regrets and being happy. Then you can be someone who's got the, you know, supposedly, you know, like the best job in the world, a big house, a family, friends, and they could be depressed and miserable. So we really do have a choice to live in misery or to live, you know, feeling joyful and happy. And this is definitely something like I've struggled with myself, despite, I think, being very conscious about a lot of things, about the human mind, about myself. I'm, I'm very conscious about it, you know. And I think it is a I think it is time for myself and you know a lot of people watching this to start realizing that unhappiness, depression, anxiety, all the kind of negative emotions that you feel are linked to something just not happening the way you want them to happen. That is it. It is that simple. You've got to accept first of all that anything that ha happens external to your body, you have absolutely no control over whatsoever you know you only have control over your own thoughts how you decide to feel you can choose to feel because people are going to say that's nonsense but it's not i did some cbt cognitive behavioral therapy when i was much younger for anxiety sorry about the bangs of fireworks and someone said to me once you know I, I was talking away and this therapist stopped me and i was like what apparently i turned around and i said oh this person whether it i know is a boss or i don't know if it was an ex-girlfriend or whatever I said that this person made me angry and they did this and it made me angry. And that was something I'd say quite commonly, you know. I'd say, you know, someone someone made me angry. Right? And any time I met this person, I'd always be at a heightened state where I was anticipating them pissing me off. And they sort of pulled me up on it and I found it quite interesting. They were saying nobody's actually got the power to make you angry. You know, you're, you're, you're choosing to be angry yourself and get pissed and give this person the power to make you angry so probably more than anybody else you meet in your social circle or work life or whatever it's probably going to not have the amount of power that you give that person because you're you're just you're just expecting them to make you angry all the time the way you self talk to yourself in your own head can be negative you know you can't you can't talk to yourself in a positive way and feel negative emotions and you can't think negatively and expect to have positive emotions it's just it's a contradiction it's not going to happen so it is within your own capability to think positively even in super shit situations and have a better mindset i'm not saying i'm not saying you know to become a robot and not have any feelings at all but to have a more positive outlook and a more positive mindset I think a lot of the times myself, when I've felt unhappy, it's when I've not been conscious about things that are going on around me. Let me just explain that a little. You know, I think I'm a very conscious person. The majority of the time I'll go about my business and I'll be like, oh, this has happened. It's something bad may have happened, but I'm like, right, okay, I need to keep myself in check. But then sometimes I find when I do occasionally find myself feeling a bit depressed, I have a number of small little things build up. Because they're little things, they don't kind of scratch the surface consciously and they kind of worm their way in. So I'm not consciously being aware of the things that are going on. And I think a lot of people who are, you know, depressed, not happy, thinking negatively, are not being as conscious as they should be conscious about what it is that's making them unhappy, you know. Maybe you're working a shit job and instead of instead of you know changing that job you you carry on just doing the job and thinking oh maybe it's the only thing i can do ah oh, but it's security ah oh, but then you give yourself all these excuses to stay in a miserable situation it could be a relationship as well you know you could you could be in a relationship you go oh yeah but they do this that's nice and that's and that that's nice but then they could be doing like a hundred things that make you really unhappy you know there, there could be 150 reasons why you're not compatible but you stay in it because of five so you kind of bury it down and you, you know, you, you, you become unconscious. You just kind of plod along with things and then you have this negative internal voice where you just don't address what's going on. If you can try to be conscious about things that are going on all the time and the less you bury things, 
the more you can kind of logically look at it and go, okay, well, this is my choice. I've got, you know, if it's something external to you, if it's something that you can't change yourself, which most external things you can't, unless you can change certain things through your own actions. Obviously, if you've got a job you don't like, it's totally down to you to, to you know, to have the power to leave. So I find it, yeah, I find it interesting. I definitely think, I definitely think this year, 2022, definitely should be more about having a more positive mindset. And I don't mean, I don't mean going around fucking like, yay, if I'm number fucking 11 out of 10 all the time happy. Like, that's bullshit. It's not realistic, you know. Some people might be that way, but I'd find it annoying as fuck. I think I'm a rare sunshine most of the time. We've all got fucking struggles. We've all, we've all got problems and you can't escape problems. So a lot of it is about acceptance. Accepting that you will have shit things happen to you. That you are having shit things happening to you. I, ju I just think if you're always chasing that impossible dream. You're going to end up on your deathbed. A miserable, depressed, frustrated old man or old lady. It's, it's the truth. And I certainly don't want to. I, I don't certainly don't want to go that way and I've seen certain actions and, and, and mindsets in myself where I think I could possibly go that way you know when I've had two or three maybe more things go go bad in my life and I like to think I cope with them fairly well but I still definitely get to the stage where I end up in a negative mindset and I myself and I'd like to think some of you guys out there watching will yeah maybe maybe look at looking at things in a slightly different different light taking those key points that i said so number one one of them not, not in any particular order but number one acceptance accept that anything that happens from outside your body from between your own ears anything outside of your own head your own body outside of you you have got absolutely no control over other things happening situations happening the way people behave the way people act you've got to accept that you've got absolutely zero control over that. And you've got to accept it because there is no other choice other than to be frustrated and miserable. I've been in that situation before. I've, I've you know, been in a situation where I've been in relationships and I thought, I really like this person, but I let something really frustrate me about them to the point where, you know, it ate away at me till I become just miserable and stressed all the time because I wanted them to be something they wasn't or behave a way they weren't, you know, and it's... It's a horrible way to be about any situation in life. So, number one, acceptance. Number two, never forget that any time you're feeling miserable, depressed, any form of negative feeling, it has got to stem from things just not happening the way you'd like them to happen. And they will do. There's nothing you can do about it. Again, you've got acceptance. You've got to accept it. But it is that simple. When you next time you're like, why am I feeling depressed? Why am I feeling anxious? There's going to be something in your life that you wish was going a different way. Now it's either something you can actually do and change yourself or you've just got to accept it and be as positive as you can be in a, in a situation regardless of if it's shit. Being frustrated and depressed on top of a bad situation is not going to help it in any, any way, shape or form. Number three, which I haven't mentioned in this video, but I have mentioned in previous videos, is coping mechanisms and distraction so you know this kind of goes hand in hand with being conscious or unconscious about the things going on in your life nice someone's being sick <laughs> go do a vlog on new year's eve they say be fun someone's actually throwing up next to me <laughs> i'm out here trying to do a vlog in my car for peace and quiet there's fireworks going off there's a young couple throwing up next to me <laughs> This is a good start to uh, this is a good start to 2022 and trying to be more positive in what would be shit situations. <laughs> oh dear, you couldn't make it up, could you? Fucking hell! I'm sat in the corner of a fucking car park in Rady Essex, right tucked out of the way. It's the only place I could think. I tuck myself right in the far corner, not near to any alleyways. Somebody comes right next to the car and starts throwing up on the floor. Brilliant. Right. So what was I saying anyway about um. Yeah, coping mechanisms and distracting yourself, coping mechanisms. Yeah, it goes in hand in hand with conscious and, 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 and unconscious. You've got to have a level of consciousness. The more you have consciousness about what is going on, the more chance you've got of handling things. They're not going to be buried. They're not going to become unconscious anxieties in your life. You know, the more you keep things to the surface. So... Whatever your form of coping mechanism is, whether it's alcohol, whether it's going out shopping, whether it's 
whether it's isolating yourself or whether it's you know just putting headphones on watching tv whatever it is if you're doing it a lot of the time to bury your problems then you're already on a losing streak you know yeah you're already kind of on a losing streak if you're not if you're not letting yourself have the consciousness about what is happening in your life what is happening around you and having a good a good idea of how that is making you feel and then leading me on to the next point of having a choice you you know as a recap you you have a choice once you're conscious of what's going on in your life maybe a loved one's sick maybe a relationship's got bad or ended whatever it is if, if you're not keeping it at a service you're not going to be able to make that decision okay you know how am I going to let myself feel about it you know maybe if it is a you know maybe if it is the loss of a loved one for a relationship or you've lost a lot you know you've had a bereavement or whatever you know to a certain element in some situations you're going to allow yourself some grieving space um like I said before you can allow yourself to feel emotions you've got to let yourself feel emotions but I think the self-talk is the key. The self-talk to yourself, the way you, you know. I mean, I, I nearly lost, I thought I lost my mum last year. She had a stroke and she was in a coma. I lost my dad two years previous. And I remember at the time, I felt like my life was falling apart. I lost, you know, I got, some of you guys probably seen that video, you know, I got burgled the same month. I got dumped by my girlfriend at the time. And I just thought, what's the fucking point of going on? That's probably, you know, one of the lowest points of my life. And here I am a year later and half you know, the majority of them feelings have gone. My mum actually has made a fantastic recovery. I didn't get back with a girl, but, you know, I don't think there's really any hard feelings and, you know, I've moved on from the relationship and life's changed so much over a year. But at the time, I was so deep in the negative thought. At the time, I, I, you know, I was thinking to myself, oh, I've lost my mum. I've got no parents close now. I've got no grandparents left. I've got you know, I've got nothing good going on in my life. What is the point of going on? And when I think back now, that's that's scary. Like, man, fucking six months later, things were way, way better. Twelve months later, completely different story, you know? Like, my life's changed so much in that twelve months. This is a thing, things change, but that initial that initial point of not of having that negative self-talk is scary. It's scary, man. Like, I know a lot of people think that way. And changing subjects slightly, still on the lines of happiness, people are unhappy because what they expect makes you happy nowadays. We, we've, we've gone from fucking probably living in a cave or, you know, having a really simple life where we're just finding food, eating, fucking, sleeping and spending time in nature. Now, now look at us, we've fucked things up in the space of like, in the space of a couple of hundred years, we, we're living better than kings was. You know, think of a, a king in a castle a few hundred years ago, a thousand years ago. They were like royalty and they were like eating a bunch of grapes, sitting on a fucking wooden sofa, thinking they had it made. Now look at, look at the comfort of life that we lead. We can literally message and contact whoever we want, when we want. We've got all these modern conveniences, like things we couldn't even imagine, like mobile phones. Even poor people have got cars, mobile phones, a fucking kitchen, like just everything you know we can't want for anything more but we're all fucking miserable like we are living in a time where all the things that were supposed to make life better are just making us more miserable but i think a lot of people are now waking up you know a lot of people are kind of going off grid looking for alternative ways to to, to live you know going back to nature we've gone full circle because we have we've fucked up we really have fucked up i find it interesting because all the things that I'm drawn towards, and I know even my mate Andy is drawn to the simple things in life now. The more shit you have around you, and the more, you know, this is this is the sickness of today's society. We want more. We just want more and more and more and more. We're never happy. People even want more relationships. They want more passion. They want more sex. They want more money. They want, you know, more power in their work. They want they want all the wrong fucking things. It's like an addiction. It is a really unhealthy addiction. We fucked up. Let's go back, guys. Let's go back to the beginning because the modern day and age, it's no wonder people are fucking miserable. The technology that's meant to make our lives better, it's not made us any happier, is it? It's not made our lives... It's made our lives more miserable than it has made our lives better. Yeah, there is the odd little thing, the bits of technology and medicine, some medicines don't agree with all of them but um, you know there's some good that's come out of technology but let's look at the majority of us the majority of us are fucking miserable 
Right, totally miserable. And my son has just texted me. Just gonna give him a quick Happy New Year. Sorry about that. Probably not the best time to pick a time to do a vlog is New Year's Eve for any aspiring YouTubers out there. Okay, enough procrastinating then. I guess I better get back to my family, which are my children. Anyway guys, I think I've done enough waffling for one video. I will catch up with you guys in the new year, which is, for me, another hour and a half. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little chat about happiness. Considering I am a fucking ray of sunshine. Hopefully it will uh, be invalu invaluable to some of you. If not, I will. I'll see you on some electric bikes soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Take it easy.